Nice to see everybody again. Hope everybody's having a nice day, had a nice weekend. Okay, so what we're gonna do is a uh, lower body routine today. It'll be pretty simple, and uh, then we're gonna finish with some core at the end. So it'll be about uh, 35, maybe 40 minutes total, and, uh, and that's that. So we're gonna do a very, very light warm up. Instead of going through the whole joint mobility routine like we normally do, uh, we're gonna do uh, just a jump rope to warm up. If you don't wanna jump, um, you can walk in place as well. Uh, this is my timer now. I found my uh, old, um, iPhone, the first iPhone I ever had, which was the second iPhone it made, the 3GS. Look at that. Look how little that is. So I use it as a timer now. Um, anyway, that's what we're going to do. So give me one second, let me set this timer, and then we will start our jump rope. And like I said, we're doing um, all lower body today. Okay. So we're gonna do jump rope for 90 seconds, and then the rounds are gonna go uh, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So not too bad in either, in either way, not too long of a rest, not too long of a round either. So let me just get that going, and we're gonna have 10 rounds. Uh, we're gonna repeat the same circuit three times, and then we're gonna do the ground, and the core stuff will be like, I don't know, five minutes or so, it won't be long at all. All right, so we're gonna start with some jump rope, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, Five, four, three, two, and one. Jump rope. Okay, or you can walk in place if you want to take the impact off. If it bothers your uh, ankles, knees, hips, whatever, your spine, you can take the jumping out and just kind of walk in place. And keep working that big, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. When uh, the timer goes off, we're gonna go right into squats. So regular squats, our toes pointed forward, heels pressed flat, shoulders above the hips. We've got about 45 seconds. Let me turn this timer up. Big, deep breaths in and out. How does everybody feel about this time for the workouts? Three o'clock and then two on Wednesdays. Let me know uh, on our first break if that time works for you. Hey, all right. Good to see everybody. We're just jumping rope to warm up. We've got about 10 more seconds of that. Then we're gonna go right into squats. So feet nice and flat, shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, shoulders above the hips, back flat. And let's go squat. When you get to the top, squeeze your glutes for a count of one, 1,000. Down, up. You're good with the time? Okay, cool. Yeah, if anybody um, has suggestions on things, whatever, uh, just let me know. Okay, if you can go 90 degrees, then do that. Um, if you can't, you go as far as you can. But do try to push, you know, an inch, if you're not at 90 degrees, wherever you're stopping, attempt to push like an inch or half inch further each time. Good, break, deep breath in through your nose. If you um, do drink water, do little sips, don't chug water, it'll make you cramp or throw up. So next you're gonna do sumo squats, we're gonna turn our feet Outward, our toes outward, working the inner thigh, back straight, three, two, one, and let's go down, up. Still squeezing the glutes at the top. Working the inner thigh, hip flexors. You like three on Mondays? Awesome, perfect. That's uh, two people plus me for three on Mondays, so we're gonna keep it. And you guys are always here, so I, it seems like it works. Ten seconds. 
And thank you to everybody who uh, came out uh, on Saturday for the Choose Your Own Adventure workout uh, with my brother Jordan. Good rest. That was a lot of fun. We're going to do that every other Saturday at 10. So uh, if you have that time free, which you do, uh, and you want to work out, you can do that with us. Okay, ski or squats. We're going to go feet together, and we're going to squat, and up at the top. Same thing, squeeze your glutes at the top. Down and up. Okay, great, thank you. 3 p.m. on Mondays are perfect. So this one's hitting more of our, our quads, so you should really feel that um, burn and lactic acid build up on the front of your legs more for this one. Good, rest. We're gonna go into uh, split squats. So one leg forward, one leg back. Okay, so it doesn't matter which leg you start with, I'm starting with my right leg forward. I'll kind of show this at an angle first. Back straight, I'm gonna go straight down, straight up. When I come up, uh, what I don't wanna do is rock back and flatten my feet and straighten my legs. I wanna keep that same weight distribution, so slightly heavy on the front leg, and that front leg stays a little bent, and that back heel stays elevated. Almost there. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one, relax, 15 second break. We're gonna switch sides. So I had my right leg up, so now I'm gonna put my left. If that's the same for you, then great. Back straight, deep breath in. You can put your hands on your hips for balance or keep them in, okay? If you um, box, kickbox, do any sort of martial arts, I would recommend that you uh, practice that posture. Uh, it's always a good habit to get into uh, to ensure that you're keeping your hands up amidst like strenuous activity if you box and things like that. You can do it anyway too, but if that's uncomfortable or it messes up your balance, then put them on your hips, keep your shoulders back. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Good, and rest, 15 second rest, good. Okay, we're gonna do um, alternating lateral lifts. So I lift, switch, lift, switch. Okay, toes pointed toward me. And you see I'm, I'm leaning as little as possible but it's okay if you need to lean, it's also okay if, whoop, if you need to hold on to something. But even with that, gradually uh, try to wean yourself off of that crutch. Ten seconds. Good, rest. We're gonna do um, single leg, uh, back leg lifts, but we're gonna do them standing. Most of the time people do these on the ground, which is great, but we're gonna work that stabilizing leg as well. So I'm balancing on my left leg. I'm gonna lift my right leg above my waist and then bring it back and do like a leg lift like normal and then bring it right back up. So similar movement to the single leg deadlift that yeah, anyone who uh, works out with me, we do quite a bit. Um, but it's just not as extreme and there's no bend forward. So really focusing more on the glute uh, than the hamstring. What do you guys listen to when you're working out? Right now, 
I'm rocking my uh, retro wave playlist on my Spotify. So like 80s inspired synthy pop stuff, which I love. Good 15 second rest. It's usually that or like hip hop or podcasts for me. Let me know what you guys listen to sometime. Okay, we're gonna switch feet, back straight, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're gonna lift that leg straight up and bring it back. So again, working more of the glute as opposed to the hamstring, even though the hamstring is getting uh, quite a workout as well. So that back, sorry, the moving leg, when you reach the back, you should feel where the top of your glute meets your lower back. Like wherever the butt starts, I don't know. But wherever your butt hits your back, that feeling, uh, that's as far as you need to go. You don't need to like push past there. Usually you'll cramp at that point. And that supporting leg is getting a lot, a lot, a lot of work out, working out right now too um, by keeping you stable and keeping you up. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, we're going to do a squat and hold. So all the way down, five, four, I don't know why I'm counting. We're just going to hold the whole round, my bad. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now this one is very challenging for a lot of people, both in their hip flexibility and in just the uh, pressure you're, we're putting on our glutes, hamstrings, quads, uh, everything like that. So if you need to come up, that's fine. Come up, take one to two big deep breaths in and out, and then come right back down. And, and try to keep your shoulders above your hips. You're gonna be leaning forward slightly, but um, you know, as much as you can, try to pull back and keep your back flat. We've talked about that a lot. And five seconds, four, three. Don't fall out of this, stand up, push, and squeeze, finish your squat. We've got one more round, and then a break, and we're gonna do a minute rest. So we're gonna do mini squat jumps. These aren't huge squat jumps. We're gonna keep our heels raised off the ground. Small squat, small jump. If you can't jump, just take that part out. And deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. So this is a lot of uh, quad tension by keeping the heels up. It's okay if you go flat, but you do need to be very careful when you land flat-footed. It's hard on your knees, ankles, and hips. So having your heels up, in addition to working your calves, focusing more on the quads, it'll also help prevent so much um, hard impact on your joints. And time, woo! All right, minute rest. If you need to get a little bit of water, go for it. Small sips. Oh. Hope everybody's doing all right. Hopefully nobody's going too crazy being stuck inside all the time. So weird. But again, you know, I mean, you guys know this, but that is why it's so important just for your body to have exercise. We're getting, whatever you're getting just normally throughout your day, walking around, going to work, sitting, standing, we're not getting. So even more important, but also just having a routine, um, something to look forward to, or in air quotes, look forward to, but also something to accomplish. It's really important for our mental health and emotional health to feel like we're still doing something. So it's a good way to do that. All right, squats, regular squats. Toes forward, and let's go down and up and squeeze. Uh, do be cautious of your knees. You don't want them caving in, flaring out, or rocking over your toes. They should sit above your ankles. You want to think of sitting down in a chair with your shoulders above your hips. Coming up and squeezing at the top. Down, up, and squeeze, okay? So 
So if that means you slow down to work that knee stability, do that. Or perhaps it means you uh, decrease the range of motion for right now until you get used to it, and then you can start picking it back up. Sumo squats are next. We're gonna turn our toes out. Working the inner thigh, hip flexors, and still the glutes as well. Okay, back straight, and let's go down, up. Squeeze at the top. Down, up, down. The way you can get cardio in as well uh, at the same time is just by moving faster. I know it seems silly to say that, um, but it's true. If you just pick up the pace of even a exclusively lower body workout, uh, you'll get a decent cardio workout as well. Not the same as doing you know, hit cardio or something like that, or boxing, kickboxing, but you can get it in there, even in the same amount of time. So 30 minutes, you can still Get some cardio along with everything else. Good, and squeeze, relax, deep breath in and out. Skier squats are next. We're gonna put those feet together, not touching, but just within our hip width, and move our uh, squat down like that. Okay, I'll show it from the side as well. Depending on how flexible I am on any given day, I might go further or, or not as far on these. Still squeezing at the top. So I'm leaning slightly forward, but my back is flat, meaning it's not punching over, my shoulders aren't going lower than my hips, and there's no punch or curve. Split squats are next. One leg forward, one leg back. Again, if you need to hang on to something, keep a chair nearby, great. Just don't lean on it. Just touch as light as possible. And every once in a while, take your hand off. Challenge yourself to improve on your balance and the strength, of course. seconds. If you can, try squeezing your abdominal muscles as well. You might as well get some ab work in. We're going to do abs at the end anyway, but why not? A little extra ab work. 10 seconds. One more. Good. Shake it loose. We're going to switch sides. Deep breath in, deep breath up. Five seconds. Back straight, hands up or on your hips. And let's go. And if you notice too, whenever you're watching somebody do demonstrate any sort of exercise, aside from paying attention to the muscle groups that they're working, um, you know, if it's legs, you're looking at their legs, arms, etc. you get it. But also pay attention to where they're looking. Your uh, visual focus, super important. So most things, you're gonna look straight ahead. Neutral position in your neck, not reaching or pulling back or cocked side to side. Uh, and you're gonna just stare straight forward. That helps you keep your head up, it keeps your chest up, your shoulders back, helps you have good posture. It'll also improve your balance and uh, it, it, a lot of times it prevents injury too, and even improves form. Deadlifts are a great example. You know, kettlebell swings, uh, cleans rather. Where are we at? Uh, lateral lifts, alternating. So aside from shifting my weight laterally, to one leg, I'm not doing much moving with the rest of my body. Aside from my leg lifting, the rest of my body is just counterbalancing enough for me to raise my leg and keep it up. 
So I don't want to like throw it and have it drop. And if you find yourself throwing it and then it drops, that is not the, necessarily the strength of your raising leg. It's where you're, count, where you're shifting your weight right before you move. So if I'm going to lift my left or your right, I shift to my right or left and then raise. So that way I'm balancing on that side. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the back leg lifts. So we raise up nice and high above our waist so we get a good counter stretch. And then lift and raise up above the waist. Back straight again, looking straight ahead. Not looking down. Tight abs. Start watching myself on my monitor. So try to keep your focal point on something that's stationary. You, you know, you'll get better at that later, you know, moving and looking at stuff on one leg. But while you're training, <laughs> see? Deep breath in. Good, we're gonna switch sides. So if your supporting leg is burning, just shake it loose. There's not a lot you can do other than just shaking it, trying to let some of that lactic acid and tension that you've built up release a bit. There are some visualization techniques that help switch legs. Man, I got driving one, two beat with sexy sax. It's just, that's my jam for working out. Like it's either pretty aggressive hip hop. Just give me some Give me some damn sexy sax, you know what I'm saying? Tim Capello and Lost Boys. I still believe. That is my business. Just pumps me up. Uh, so where were we? Well, I guess we got kind of a pass on that round. We only have five seconds left. And come up, good job. Okay, so uh, the last round. Uh, for this one, is going to be uh, mini squat jumps, okay? Small squat, small jump. Keep your heels up, off the ground, very smooth, a little bit down, a little bit up. The uh, low battery on my phone came up, that's why I paused, I didn't know. I'll make sure to tuck it in next time. 30 seconds. Did you guys hear my whole sexy sax speech? Oh man, if you missed that, you missed out on like a crucial part of my identity. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. And go. Yes. I'm glad. Okay, uh, minute rest. So, we're gonna go through this one more time. And that'll bring us to a 30 minute workout. Well, with the rest and with the jump rope, 34 minute workout. So we're gonna add uh, like seven minutes of abs at the end. So total around 45 minutes. Great workout. So I'm gonna, I'll post, well th again, this workout will always be there for 24 hours in my stories. Um, I'll post a screenshot of what we did so you can pick and choose, you know, kind of how you break it up. Last time through, starting with squats, deep breath in, deep breath out, three, two, one, regular squats, let's go. The other good thing about listening to this type of music, well I suppose you would have had you grown up in the 80s, or at least just watched these types of movies, 80s movies, but when you work out to this music, it makes you feel like you're in a montage which is like the best feeling. If I had to equate it 
It would be like hearing my son laugh and then like right next to that is feeling like I'm in a workout montage from an 80s movie. Basically the same. Good, breathe deep in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're gonna turn our toes out, sumo squats are next. All right, inner thighs, ham, uh, inner thighs and hip flexors. Just think about too many words. seconds. And rest. Deep breath in, 10 seconds. Skier squats are next. So feet hip width apart, back straight. And let's bring those butts down and let's go. This one can be a little more challenging to keep your knees stable since there's so little room to move. So you do what you can, you have to hold a chair. That's fine. I think that's how I started these. You can also practice these seated. So your feet are together, you're sitting straight with your back up in a seated position and you just work standing straight up from there while keeping your knees straight and then dropping back down into the chair, couch, coffee table, whatever. 10 seconds. Good, right? Split squats are next. One leg forward, one leg back. One very dumb and corny way to keep yourself interested is each time you do a new round, start with a different leg. I know it's dumb, but it's something. And, uh, Sometimes when you're hitting a spot in your workout where you're just like, man, I'm uh, aggressively done with this hour or whatever it is. Um, having little chores or little things to focus on is actually quite helpful. <sighs> 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Good, rest. We're gonna switch sides. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Ten seconds, back straight. Getting halfway through this last circuit. And let's go. The other thing is, so we're doing this circuit three times, right? This is the third time. We've talked about this before, but all you have to do is make it past the first circuit. Then, once you begin the second circuit, you can count down to halfway, right? So in this, we're doing 10 rounds, right? So the second time through, when you get to that fifth round, you're halfway done. It's a good feeling. It gives you obtainable goals immediately. Then it's a countdown. Once you finish that second circuit, which, you know, it's only half, uh, you only got one circuit. That's it, you can do one circuit. So you kind of play those little um, cognitive reframing drills with yourself. Exact same situation, nothing's changing. You just put a little spin on what that reality means to you and things get aggressively easier. Switch sides. I didn't mean to say aggressively so soon after the last time I said aggressively. You guys have to think about that? So I started to get a little caught up in my own momentum there, and uh, my form was suffering, so I slowed it down a bit.
10 seconds. Getting your last rep. Good, rest. Deep breath in and out. We have the standing rear leg raises, both sides. Then we have the big squat, mini squat jumps, and we're done with legs. We're gonna move to core. Standing rear leg raises. I keep my hands up. Okay, push. Find where your butt starts. <laughs> trying to keep my toes pointed down the entire time. I'm not turning my foot out. So they're facing the same direction the entire time. When I bring them up, they're pointed straight. When I bring it back, it's pointed down. Okay, switch legs. All right, five seconds. Back nice and straight. Three, two, up above the waist. And down. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I'm kind of sweaty. I do prefer to be just super sweaty and uh, hot during workouts, though. I don't like working out cold. I hate it, actually. I love this feeling of like almost overheating, just like pouring sweat like profusely, profusely, um, while I'm uh, trying to get better at something. I love that feeling. As much as I him and haul before I start my workout to myself, um, once I start, then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, and especially once I hit this point. Okay, squat, hold which is always the thing you want to keep in mind is the feeling after the workout is what you're after, right? That feeling of like, hell yeah, I accomplished something, I feel great, my body is so happy and it's vibrating even though I'm tired. And you can use that same uh, mentality and line of logic for when you're gonna eat trash. You want the trash for that like momentary fix or coping mechanism, but afterwards you'll always feel terrible, always. I'm not saying you should be like 100% clean, I'm not. Um, but 10 seconds, you can remember like, oh yeah, after I eat this, I'm gonna feel terrible, I'm gonna feel terrible physically, mentally, I'm gonna be so sad and disappointed that I did it, and push, stand up, good. Um, so it's hard in the moment, right? I don't wanna work out, so screw it, I'm just not gonna do it. I immediately snap decision, same thing. I want the, I wanna eat the garbage, boom, I ate the garbage. So giving yourself a moment, that's what being mindful is. Mini squat jumps, heels up. Um, that's what mindfulness is. Instead of just a word on a meme with a picture of a flower behind it, um, mindfulness is actually paying attention to what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you're needing. Um, I use that those principles in self-defense as well, even uh, habits uh, for your home or your car. Like, tactile sensations to remind you what you did or didn't do. 10 seconds. So it's just mindfulness. And it's a practice, I fail all the time. Three, two, one, and time. Whee! Ah, okay, minute rest. We got like five to seven minutes on the ground for our abs. And then it's over. And I won't see you guys till Wednesday at 2. Oh, damn. Is that a good oh, damn, or a bad one? 30 seconds for the timer. Okay, 
Yeah, same here. Those little jumps are brutal. You know, it's that, the constant, yeah. with a normal squat, you get a release at the top. But with those, even though you're barely moving, it's like split squat. <laughs> yeah, the, the little ones, they keep you under tension the whole time. It's like, um, sometimes I'll do push-ups for myself or with other people. Same here, I'm, I'm super sweaty. But with, this will be a break as I'm talking about this, but like tricep push-ups, for example, I've, I'll use this a lot where I'll do five small, barely moving uh, push-ups and then one big one, for example. So it'll be down here on the one, two, three, four, five, and then a big one, and then back down. One, two, three, four, five, and then up, down. Same idea, it's just brutal for there. Okay, so everybody down on the ground. Let me move this as well. Everybody a second. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on, and then another 30 second round with an opposite direction, or opposite ex or a different exercise, and then a 30 minute race or rest. So it's 30 on, 30 on with a different version, and then a 30 second rest. Okay. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna start with um, in outs. So you can keep your hands down or you can keep them up. Here's plug one. So it's just in, out. Okay? The second round is gonna be wide leg. In outs. Okay? So regular or narrow in outs, and then wide in outs. Three, two, one. And let's go. Hands down or up, totally up to you. If you need to rest, try resting uh, up in this position so you can still kind of engage your core and then go back. And I did that with my feet up. Good, okay? Ooh, wide leg. So hitting the obliques, uh, hip flexors. Woo! If your lower back is feeling it, that's appropriate. Because these are core exercises, not just abdominal exercises. Your core is your abs and lower back. Good, 30 second rest. Okay, uh, up and overs are next. So we're gonna keep two feet to one side, come up and over, and bring it back. You can step one foot at a time as well, but try to do both. And then after that, we're gonna do use. Okay, so opposite motion, up and overs. again my body is starting to really feel it but it feels good it's been like a year of me kind of not having a routine Woo! oh holy moly all right we're gonna do a cross leg crunches so, there's the best angle for this. 
So one leg, so I'm crossing my left leg over my right. I'm putting my right hand behind my head, my left palm on the ground. I'm gonna bring my right shoulder to my left knee. I'm still looking up, neutral position in my neck. I'm not reaching with my chin. I'm focusing on bringing my shoulder to my knee, not my chin. 10 seconds, and we're gonna switch sides. Sexy sex, do it baby, woo! Good, switch. And let's go. second I'm gonna say something else too so I hope uh, everybody had a good workout and if you are um, 
following some of the things I talk about, having this calendar is essential if you struggle with consistency in your workouts or your diet or whatever. So I mic an X on the days when I do the thing. I put it on a mirror, it's important, because um, it is very, very, very difficult and painful to look at yourself, see empty spaces, and then come up with a reason why they're empty. So this is super helpful. Um, up until this month, literally for the last year, I haven't been doing this, and it's been a nightmare. Thank you too, great job, great job, thank you. So if you do struggle, put a calendar on a mirror, and do that. All right, guys.